Hi and welcome to my van layouts video. It's been snowing today so I thought let's go out for a little drive, have a bit of fun in the bongo. So grab yourself a nice little cup of tea and then uh, we'll talk about van conversions. I've had three conversions so I thought it might be fun to go back to the beginning and start with the first one. So our first conversion is a rear conversion. As you can see from this highly accurate drawing, all the stuff was at the back. So in this video, you'll see that the fridge, the cupboards, the sink, and the uh, you know the cooking of bacon all happens at the back of the vehicle. So one cool thing that he was able to do with this conversion was stand outside under the uh, open tailgate and be able to cook from the rear of the vehicle. You couldn't access the fridge or the, the cupboards uh, in obviously that mode so uh, that was a bit of an issue uh, one of the biggest problems with this conversion was the fact that when you was on the way to a campsite with all your camping gear you would put all that stuff in between the bench seat and the conversion so you couldn't access the fridge or the cupboards from inside the vehicle one cool thing that this van came with was a rear bench swivel seat so you could move it around from the sitting position, swivel it all the way around and have it in a nice big dining area so that was a really cool feature of this van. The bed, uh, we ordered these mattresses just like this one except in black um, and as you can see it filled up the entire area of the van so it was a nice big bed there. So let's move on to the pros and cons of this conversion. So the first pro is a full width bed. Always good to get a good night's sleep, so a full width bed is essential, I think. Next one is outside cooking, standing under that tailgate, cooking outside. That was pretty cool. And the dining space, when that civil bench seat was turned around, it made a really big dining area, so that was pretty damn cool. Onto the cons list, and not being able to access the fridge whilst you was on the move because you put all your camping gear in between the bench seat and the conversion so you didn't have access to the cupboards or the cooker on the move so we like to sort of stop on the way and uh, eat in the van um, the swivel seat once you had all that camping gear in there you couldn't swivel it around so you had to take everything out to swivel it around so that was a bit of a pain and not being able to use the front seats when it was in bed mode. You couldn't actually change your shoes or anything like that when it was in bed mode. So that was a bit of a pain as well. So I'm going to move now from the rear conversion to the mid side conversion. I decided to recycle the unit, um, obviously to save money first off. But I did quite like the grey units and it was a pretty new conversion when we bought it. So to go with this conversion, I built this wooden box. Now, obviously this is a seating area for when we're dining, which was really handy, but this also became our wardrobe as well. So there's two compartments in there for all our clothes. And at the bottom, there was actually a utensil drawer. So we kept like pots and pans and all our knives and forks in there. But this also doubled up as the end of the bed as well. So as you can see here, it connects up with the end of the bed. So another modification that I did was to change the seats around. I took the old swivel seat out because there was no room underneath it and replaced it with a, a spare bongo seat that I had and I replaced all the foam because we had a specially flattened foam seat there. Um, as you can see, lots of space so I built a nice big drawer in there. This was really handy, it was a great drawer, all the kids clothes fitted in there so really happy with that drawer. The fridge and all the cupboards were accessible from the side door which was a really cool feature of this conversion. I didn't like the fact you couldn't get to the fridge um, when it was a rear one. So here you go, we've got a nice little cupboard for food. There's another little secret cupboard just down below that one. Um, had a nice overhead locker and you know, there was like a little storage thing that I built for all the plates and things on the side there. One of the things that this conversion did solve was the fact we could stop on the way to somewhere and we could just sit down and have something to eat inside the van we could cook and get access to the fridge so yeah this was great for that so on to the pros and cons list and the first up in the pros is access to the dining on the move next up is lots of storage there's loads of little cubby holes to store food and clothes a really cool one is access to the fridge from the outside from the um, you know from the sliding door so that's always a plus in my book so onto the cons list. Now the bed was only good for one and a half people. Uh, that's not that's not good for a good night's sleep, is it really, folks? Um, yeah, as your kids get bigger, yeah, your bed needs to be full width, I reckon, all the way down. So major sticking point for this conversion. Another con was not as much room inside the van. After building that big wooden bench seat, really good for dining and storage, but you know it took up a lot of room. That did so. Not brilliant for space. 
So another con, it's a bit of a nitpick this one, but the overhead cupboard. Um, great for storage again, but really a bit of a health hazard. I bash my head on it loads of times getting in the van and for someone travelling in that rear seat, you know, it could present a bit of a health hazard. So I thought probably best to get rid of that one. So we're going to move from this mid-side conversion to the new position, which is just behind the driver's seat. So I've built a whole new little unit for there. There's storage at the back of the vehicle, and there's also storage in a little footstool uh, just behind the passenger seat. And I've also kept the original that drawer that I made in the other conversion. So let's get to the van tour. It was a really cold and snowy day uh, when I made this van tour and uh, I didn't get to go outside and film, but that's absolutely fine. As you can see here, I built this new small little unit. This is completely built from scratch. Um, I use about 12, I think it's 12 millimeter plywood and it's wrapped in a nice blue vinyl. Um, got these little pockets from eBay. So they were pretty cheap, about five pounds each. Uh, the top is actually uh, an Ikea table. So I repurposed that. Uh, the sink, again, this is another recycled item. I had a catering bowl, so a stainless steel catering bowl, and yeah, just cut out the hole in the middle and it was sorted. Got all my uh, water plumbed back in. Now the fridge, this is a really good location for a fridge. It's, it's so close to the uh, sliding door that it just makes it really easy to load the fridge and when you want to get something out like a cold beer, as we know, that's perfect for camping. And um, yeah, so it's, it's a really good location. There's so many good things about this little unit. It does so many things. It's, it's quite strange, really. I'm, I'm surprised at how well it has actually worked out considering it's such a small little thing. Um, it's got a really neat little uh, cupboard at the top and um, comes off. I just put magnetic strips on there just to make that work. Um, at the back, I've got an access panel for all the wiring and the uh, all the uh, water stuff at the back. Um, and I have below that, I've got my gas cooker. So I've decided not to have a fixed gas cooker in this van and go with this portable stove so I can cook outside or inside. And these little ones are just phenomenal. They're so cheap and the gas is super cheap as well. So I just carry a stock of the gas canisters. Um, it's so, so easy and you can buy them pretty much anywhere. So... So I'll just quickly get this gas stove out. Um, obviously they come out upside down. That is just the law of those little gas stoves. Um, and I think these are brilliant. Um, had the fixed in gas stove for a few years uh, and they were okay, but not being able to take things outside and cook outside when you wanted to and it's nice and warm. Uh, it's just a bit of a pain really. You don't want to carry extra gas stoves. So I thought just carry one that's that can do both. So as you know, these little gas stoves take these little canisters and they're great they're really cheap very easy to find in supermarkets um i've literally got no complaints about these little things super strong as well with great flames on them so next to the uh, little unit here you'll see there is a little seat uh, this is kind of like a temporary thing at first but i really like it you just instead of having a swivel seat which costs quite a bit of money i thought i'd do this you just flop the uh, front seat forward just by pulling the lever so it's instant um, and it's a little storage container so this sort of holds anything you want obviously but in my case i hold the second stove which is a little hiking stove i'm probably going to get a second one of those other ones to be honest with you um but it fits on there i can use it for like so i can have like two pans going at the same time um yeah just just full of general you know camper van stuff really that but it's a lovely comfy little seat and it's just the back of the seat it's, once it's tilted forward it's just it's just the perfect angle for a nice little seat there and one other great thing about it is it's super accessible again from the sliding door so you can keep all sorts of like handy items in there so looking to the back of the van this is where the uh, that drawer which I built for the other conversion and I've obviously covered it in uh, blue vinyl again to match and now it's become the cutlery drawer and the pan drawer so it's a much bigger affair so I can easily access stuff in here and it's, so it's been absolutely fantastic um, got food storage to the left as you can see uh, keep all my mugs in that side and uh, yeah, the, with it laid out like that, it's so much better. The obligatory pasta and sauce has to be in the van. Otherwise, it's a crime. So I, they just stay there all the time. That little rubber matting stops things sliding around. Super useful, can I say? Um, so really on board. I mean, it's like it's so good to have 
like that for a dedicated food storage plus the little cupboard on the left between them two is plenty of room for food um, I do have extra food storage in the van which I'll show you in a little bit so as a quick update from my first video where I did my LED lighting and I did it all the way around I've kind of uh, stolen some of the lights and I've used them under this new little conversion here so uh, yeah it's perfectly bright enough in the van with just the two side strips and I can control them from a new little panel on the side of the van so it's always good to kind of split up your LED circuits just so you've got a bit more control over the lighting just to make it a bit more moody really make it look quite nice so now let's look at bed mode so I slide the uh, bench seat back into the van and flop the back of the seat down and that's pretty much it you just got to flop these mattresses back these are the mattresses I bought for the first conversion if you remember me saying that ages ago in the video um, and this reveals the back storage so under these uh, little mats here again these are repurposed from the the second conversion and under them is a load of storage at the moment we're sort of keeping like the kettle the windbreak and like the compressor and things in there I usually got like a little radiator in there as well originally we had our clothes stored in here uh, we did a trip out to Cornwall for 10 days but the clothes storage just doesn't work at the back of the van it's too hard to get to it so we just use bags for life for clothes as I'm sure most people do so this is now going to be our extra food storage so we can carry absolutely tons of food in here and also we can bring back some lovely duty-free wines from France so uh, yeah it's going to double up as our little smuggling cove so as you can see just got a couple more at the, at the side there and there's actually room on the side of the, uh, the unit as well to put even more stuff cram it in you know what it's like you've got to cram all your, your camping gear in as best you can on these small vans so that's the uh, the rear storage and that actually doubles up as a little seat if you want to sit out the back with the back door open as well everything's got like multiple uses and i think that's the best thing to build into these little vans just like you know the the japanese did when they actually made the van in the first place uh, so i'm going to make up the bed just so you can see what it looks like in all its glory And that's the bed all made up. As you can see, it's a full width bed. Really nice, so comfy. It's just great. And that's obviously me there enjoying the bed a bit too much, I think. <laughs> and you've got the footwell space still. So you can, in bed mode, as you'll notice, you can get access to the fridge. Not many conversions give you that. This is one of them. And I can still make a cup of tea in the morning while someone else is in bed. So absolute bonus there. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video and seeing our decision making process um, that's led us to this final conversion. Hopefully it's given you some good tips, maybe some information that might sort of help you decide because I know it's quite a bit of a hot topic of what layout and conversion to go for, especially in small vans. They are quite tricky to get right. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, maybe consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.